Hi everybody, welcome to another video of Power BI for Sports. Today we're going to go through how to create player groups in your reports. So this is going to allow you to uh, have a specific chart that you have in your reports. So for example, total distance by players. Uh, this is going to allow you to group your players according to their position. And each position is going to be given a specific color. So that's going to allow you to compare players within the same playing position and then your chart is going to give a lot more information uh, because you're making the most out of each chart by giving not only the player information but also the group information. So stay tuned to learn how to make these player groups. So I'm going to come to my session report dashboard. Uh, if you were interested in knowing how I made this dashboard, just check out my other video uh, about how to make a session report using Power BI. And then um, this dashboard is going to allow you to browse through any of the sessions that you have in your database, and you can just select any session It's going to give you the, the data for that session. So it's a good interactive dashboard that you can have, and then you'll see just uh, all your player individual information on the key metrics that you select, as well as um, the average of your teams here on top. But anyway, for today, the video, the objective is to group these players according to their position. So right now, you can see the players are sorted by alphabetical order, and the only ways that I can sort the graphs are ascending and descending either by player last name or by the value of the metric uh, inside the graph. So either by alphabetical order or by value order, ascending or descending. And what we're going to do is we're going to group these players and then each one of these columns is going, we're going to assign a color and each color is going to represent a position of the player. So to create the, the player groups according to their position, first you have to find a Go, go to your axis and find whatever it is, the, the value that you have on your x-axis. In my case, the metric is called player last name. So I'm going to go and search for that metric. And I'm going to right click on the, on the name of the metric in my data field. And I'm going to select new group. Once I open my new group, uh, table, you'll see that uh, all of your player names are going to pop up in the box on the left, which are the ungrouped values. So all you have to do is select. I'm going to just click and hold control to select multiple players. Select the players that you want to assign to one group, and then you select group. Those players that I select are going to be dragged now to the right box of the group uh, players, and the box on top is going to allow me to name that group. So I'm going to name this group uh, center backs. And then all you have to do now is just select uh, the rest of your players, select group, and then call them according to uh, the position that you want them to be assigned to. I'm just going to go with center backs, full backs, midfielders, and strikers. For the rest, these players are actually not in my reports, so I'm just going to and group them anyway and call them subs. Okay, so now all my players uh, have now been successfully assigned to a group. So I have my center backs, full backs, midfield strikers, and subs. Once you got them all in a group, just have to click OK. And then that group that I've just created is going to come up as a new column in my data field. So you can see now that a, a new column has now been created called player last name and groups between black brackets. So I'm going to take that, uh, that new column, and I'm going to come to my graph, and I'm going to just click and drag into the legend field. And what you will see here is that a, every column has now turned into a color and you see here in the legend that uh, every color has been assigned to, to a specific position. So now you have all your players from the, from the center back group have been assigned here and they're all in green, they're all next to each other. So if you just leave that as sort ascending and sort by player name because the player names are already associated to a position, if you leave that as sort by player last name, it's going to automatically sort it by the position. 
And if it's the case that you have a graph like this one, which is a column and line, uh, you won't see a legend uh, field here in your visualizations tool. All you have to do is just, instead of dragging it to the legend field, you just have to drag it into the column series field. And that's going to do the exact same thing. So it's going to sort that by the colors according to the positions. And then one last thing for you is that, as you can see here, my, my central backs are coming in first, then my full backs and midfields, and then strikers. The reason is that, if you remember, I have just created them in that order. So if I first created my central back group, then I created my full backs, then midfields, and then strikers. So if you want them to be displayed in a specific order, make sure that from the first time you create the groups, create them in the order that you want them to be displayed. So if I were to create center backs and then select another group and create my strikers, the strikers would have come in second in the chart. So make sure you create them in the order that you want. So that's it for today. It was just a short video on how to create your player groups. Uh, you can now then just apply those, that filter to all of the other charts. And if you have any questions or you're getting any issues, just drop me a comment below. And for anything else, drop me a message on Twitter. Thanks.